Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, another preview build for the 26H1 version of Windows 11, a version that will be released on new devices, most likely in the spring. And in this video, we're talking about the build 28020.1371, as I've said, a preview build for 26H1. In this video, we're gonna talk about everything that there is new in this build. And if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Based channel with the notification activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as discovered by a phantom of earth on Twitter or X.com, Microsoft is also introducing in the Canary channel the new discover widget. So basically, if you're going to the widgets board, you can go into the widget section, then click on the plus button, and we're going to have the new discover widget that you can add inside the widgets board. Basically, this will be something that will just show you different tips and tricks related to Windows 11 directly in the widget section. So as you can see, as an example, it's going to show us that we can use live captions to better understand audio and it tells us the keyboard shortcut and more and with a quick link to more accessibility tips. Other than that, we only have fixes in this build. For example, related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue where when selecting something from inside a folder of bend items in start menu, it could lead to the whole folder becoming invisible in the start menu that was fixed. Related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue causing file explorer to show a white flash when navigating between pages for some insiders after the previous flight that seems to be fixed at the moment. Related to input, Microsoft fixed an issue where the keyboard character repeat delay inside settings, Bluetooth and devices, and then keyboard was backwards from how it was set in the backend. Some other fixes as well, Microsoft fixed an underlying issue that could lead to your PC freezing where attempting to run Windows Terminal elevated from a non-admin account, and they also fixed an issue where the share dialog might unexpectedly show an option to share to shell experience host. And there's also a known issue in this build, the fact that the build number is shown wrong in the desktop watermark. It should be 28020.br release, but I think that's not a big known issue. So this is basically this latest build for the Canary channel. As I've said, the 26H1 builds are mostly a new platform for the new devices that will be released in the spring. So of course, certain companies that release laptops will come with this version pre-installed on their devices. And this could be the platform base for the major version in 2026, which will be 26 H2. So of course, if you want to know more info about this build and about the Canary channel in general, you can check out the article below in the video's description or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.